going on everyone? Back again with another video. Today we're going to dive into different camera angles aboard the supercarrier, how to utilize and keybind different views such as LSO, catapult, crew, ship, and free cameras. This is really useful for adding really nice and different footage into your cinematic or DCS movies and videos, and it just adds that extra layer of realism. So without wasting too much time, let's get into it. So now that we're in game, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to make sure that we have an option selected under the miscellaneous tab. If we're using track IR, like myself, we're going to make sure that we have track IR external view selected. And what that's going to allow us to do is continue to use our head to adjust and pan the camera when we're on free camera or LSO cameras or other type of cameras that we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So we've gone ahead here and spawned ourselves on the supercarrier. And we're looking at two F-18s here ready to take off from Catapults 1 and 2. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the key binds on how to access these different camera angles. We're going to go in and we're going to look at controls. And what I like to do is I like to search for the carrier. And here you can see that we have the aircraft carrier catapult camera, the carrier catapult crew camera, and the super carrier camera. Now the super carrier camera is important because you have to get into this view first before you can access the catapult and the crew camera. So here you can see our keybinds. Now personally for me, I like to have everything more or less associated with the C key and using the left modifiers, left control, left alt, left shift. But you guys can really do it however you like, or you can leave it at the defaults if you like as well. So to, to do a key bind, you just right click and clear the combo, and we will left click, double click, and we will go ahead and make sure it is back to our left. So control and C. Okay. And okay. So now we are going to do super carrier camera and you can see that it has spawned us on the deck of the super carrier. Now from here we can move it around using the ASDW keys for back forward left and right. We can also use the Q and E keys for up and down but we want the catapult camera so we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at how we get into that. For the catapult camera we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit left control and C. We can see that it cycles between the four catapults. So we got catapult one, Catapult 2, Catapult 3, and Catapult 4. I'm going to go ahead and go back to 1. And now utilizing the crew camera, Shift, Left, Shift, C, we can now cycle through all the associated crew members with this catapult. So Left, Shift, C, Left, Shift, C, Left, Shift, C. Again, you can get all the members, like I said, associated with this catapult. So let's go ahead, and from the shooter view, we'll watch this guy take off. Very cool. So you can see with just those two keybinds, you really can get some really awesome views. We're going to go ahead now, we're going to look at a couple other ones, LSO, and dabble again with the supercarrier camera a little bit. So just back in the supercarrier view, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at how we get it to the uh, LSO, or the land signal operating view. Definitely get some cool shots. Supercarrier camera. Nights kind of landscape type shots. Go ahead into controls and we're going to search for land. We can see here that we've got our land signal officer view as F9. Again, I like having it with the uh, C and left modifier key, so I went ahead and did it left alt plus C. But again, feel free to do whatever you like or keep it default if you want. And we'll go ahead and we'll get into that view. Now we are in the uh, LSO view, left alt and C. As of making this video, the multi-thread version is a little bit bugged regarding these monitors. So I've went ahead and I've loaded up the base game just to show you what they would normally look like. But as you can see, land signal view, and we've got an F-18 coming in here with a case one recovery. Let's go ahead and see if we can lock them up on the monitor and kind of simulate calling them in. Should be able to see him here soon. Comes in. And we got him on picture. And you're three quarters of a mile on Clyde Slope. Call the ball.
Very cool shot. Foul deck. Clear deck. And that is the LSO view. So we're going to go ahead and look at one more camera view that you could utilize to your advantage. That's a little bit tricky, but it definitely produces some really nice shots. That is the free camera. So, I'm just going to find it on my bind. Again, I use left control, F11. F11 jump to free camera. And from here you can just get yourself into little spots. So we're just utilizing the scroll wheel heel to wheel here to change our speed and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right inside the control room slow it down now it's not absolutely perfect but once you're in you definitely get some views that you normally wouldn't have and you can do whatever you like from here you can pause it see that it stopped our motion we can still use our track IR with this view you could definitely get some cool shots Try to go over here and see the view from the air boss, kind of what he's looking at. And like I said, we could pause it here. And you can get a really nice cool screenshot if you wanted. Cool thumbnail for a video clip. I mean, they're static figures. You gotta take it with a grain of salt. But, just to get a view in here, this is definitely nice. So I thought I'd include a log of this tutorial. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully that helped you guys in regards to different views that you can find on the supercarrier. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them below in the comments and I'll do my best to kind of answer everybody. And uh, with that being said, as always, thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.